Hey everybody, I'm just going to read this quick inspirational passage and I hope you guys enjoy it. It's called Obey Quickly. The scripture is 1 Samuel 15:22. To obey is better than sacrifice. One of the biggest things I've learned in life is to obey God quickly. When God asks you to do it, do it right then. When God told David to go face Goliath, the Bible says David ran to the battlefield. Do you know why? If David would have thought about it long enough, he would have talked himself out of it. He had gone over all the facts, figures, how much bigger Goliath was, how much more experience he, d he had. David probably would have lost his courage and missed his destiny. When God asks you to do something, don't overanalyze it. Don't reason it out. If you think about it too long, you can miss your destiny. Don't think, why should I buy their dinner? They've got more money than I do. Or why should I apologize? I apologized first the last time. Now this, <laughs> some, this sounds like some stuff I'd say. Or why should I be good to them? Then that's a good question because I feel like it's a lot of good in me that people, you know, may take for granted. And so I feel like a lot of times I'm going to start treating people the way they treat me. Um, But it says here, quit making excuses. Quit reasoning it out. Quit thinking that you heard God wrong and just do it. Learn to be quick to obey and open the door for the blessing God has in store for you. And the prayer that goes with this is, Father, today I choose to obey you quickly. I trust that you are good and desire good things for me. Thank you for ordering my steps. And I thank you for protecting me. Thank you for doing good work in me and through me. In Jesus' name, amen. I think this was appropriate for everybody because we uh, focus so much on pride. Pride is a big part of everybody. That's just a human characteristic that um, when you're trying to do right in Christ, you probably have to, you know, let go down to the wayside because pride will get you left behind. Pride will get you in some mess and pride will make you miss out on a whole bunch of stuff that God has planned for you that you may think that you don't need to do because you're too good or um, I guess basically you may feel bitter and you may feel like I don't want to do it. I know it's right, but I'm not going to do it just because I've been burned so many times. And this passage here is basically telling you that, you know, that's the wrong way to go about it. It's always better to be the bigger person. And even if you're not friends with that person or even if you don't see that person again when you do a good deed, you'll know that that's, you know, one more blessing that God has opened up or that you have opened up for yourself and that God has led you to. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and until next time, have a wonderful weekend.